I mean, I think the probably most important thing to know is that I am very interested in painting the figure. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing that people talk about probably the most is the, the whole figuration abstraction divide. Yeah. And the thing that I probably repeat myself about the most is how I don't really believe that there is such a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, in a way, that is my subject and has always yeah. been my subject. And the one to the left, the greenish one, green one, silken speech and specious shoe. I thought that sounded sort of like a child's nursery rhyme or a tongue twister um, or a, even a spell. The two paintings on the left feel to me almost like they could be close-ups of a Hieronymus Bosch painting. Mm -hmm. Here's another artist I've drawn from a lot and like a, almost like a, you're going... You're doing a David Lynch into the grass in the Garden of Earthly Delights where you're suddenly yeah. like got your head stuffed into the Garden of Earthly Delights and this stuff is all like right up to your face. So the three smaller paintings in the show, the last one is called We Grow Accustomed to the Dark. That's the most figurative of the three. But I started these paintings at the same time, the three, mm -hmm. and I always worked on them together. So these three have actually took around two years to paint. They're not a group, but they sort of complement each other. Mm -hmm. The larger painting it's called The Opening and the Close, which I also I like the fact that in English it could also be the opening and the close. There's a, obviously a feeling of many bodies in that picture and it's yeah. kind of fleshy and but I like also the idea the opening and the close almost sounds like something to do with the push and pull of painting. That yeah. you it opens up, it allows you in, it pushes you out. Um, and also the close, the idea that you're close up to it. Mm -hmm. The shipwreck over a year ago just uh happened to stumble on a little Delacroix reproduction of a shipwreck yeah. and just started drawing it. Uh -huh. And of course the most famous is the Jericho. Yeah. Um, I started copying that too. But the pastel that's downstairs, I feel like they're halfway between drawings and paintings. Mm -hmm. So even though there is a figure in there that's very directly from the Jericho, the clear figure that's hanging over the side, there are also visitors from other paintings, like the figures on the left kind of are the Madripura girls. So you've got Madripura girls with the dying figure. I did know Tunga, but not that well. Um, I think it's really an honour. It's very exciting to be see my work side by side. And I think it makes sense that you can take people from opposite sides of the world and different decades. And here we are. I think the show just gels completely. It's like there's a similar voice or thread running through it. Our hands are different, you know, uh -huh. our treatment of things is different, but there's a logic to it, which I think is wonderful.